Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. Now, last episode we put in uh, this little line of foundries to turn some of the uh, iron ore that we have and the coal that we have into steel. So we set up, um, what have we got here? We've got uh, 12 foundries, um, each set up to produce um, steel using 45 of each per minute. So that's all good. However, at the end of the episode, we also got a new recipe. Which was, if I can get close enough to this foundry, there we go. Uh, iron ingots and coal, and it requires 40 of each. Yeah. That's obviously more efficient. I mean, it does require us running the iron ore through smelters to turn it into ingots first. But, yeah, that, that's what we've got. But yeah, we need 40 a minute. Um, we have ourselves a coal mine up here, so let's dash up and, and have a look. It's a, a, a pure node, uh, and we have a Mark III miner on it. So, if we have a look at our miner, uh, I've got one power slug in it, and that increases our production to 720 a minute. Um, we've got a Mark V conveyor on here, um, and those will transport up to 780 a minute. That's the fastest we can get the coal out of there. Now, I don't know if I put a splitter directly on the output there, or if I can put a splitter directly on the output there, uh, we'd be able to break it off into a couple of lines. Um, I don't know. Probably worth a try, because then we could really bump up this output to, what, 1,200 a minute, something like that? Let's have a look. Uh, I need to connect it to the power briefly. I won't turn it off. There we go. Because we don't want it actually kicking any coal out. So, yeah, 1,200 a minute is the maximum we could get out of it. So we'd need um, to split it down into two separate lines. Yeah. Okay, well, let... let oh, no, that's the wrong button. Let's try it. Let's try putting a splitter right on the output there. Is it going to let us? No, it's not. Right, so yeah, the, the maximum we can get out is um, 780. Thank you, autosave. Yeah, so the maximum we can get out of there is 780, I believe. Let me do this again. There we go. 720, okay. Yeah, we can carry um, 780, but it's not worth bringing any more of that out because that doesn't divide down wor uh, well into 40s, I don't think. Um, I think that would be 19 and a half. I did do the maths earlier, but I, I've almost entirely forgotten it now. I think I need 19 and a half foundries. If I was kicking out 780. So. I think I'm going to stick with 720. Um, that means I could put in 18 foundries. Yeah, 18 foundries. Right, so let me do some... Oops, that's the wrong button. Let me do some... Um, very quick redesign. Um, to basically squeeze in. Yeah, I'm going to put in 18, I think. Yeah, 18 is, is probably best. So I'm going to squeeze in another six um, foundries here. Which means it would be best to redesign the entire thing. Okay. I guess I'm going to be doing that then. And our smelting works has effectively grown. Look, isn't it nice? So, we have this uh, additional section. Oops. 
uh, it is powered. There we go. This is this additional section here. We have ourselves uh, another bank of smelters, identical to what we've got uh, over there, basically. Uh, the only difference is the exit feed. Um, in those ones, it comes out the back wall in one. Here, each side splits off to a different side to feed downstairs. And if we dash down through the ladder hole, we have ourselves 18 foundries. So this is going to process um, 720 coal and um, iron ingots every minute, I think. It, that's what it's set up to do anyway. So, yeah. Uh, basically, exactly the same feed mechanism as we've got everywhere else. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Uh, technically very simple. Oops. That's the one I want. There we go. Whee. Uh, yeah, that's what, what we're doing. So that feeds down into there. The steel ingots will feed out of here. Uh, this is our feed coming in. We've got the uh, iron coming in on top. Uh, and the coal coming in. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Finished? Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. So we've got the uh, sorry the coal coming in uh, on top uh, and splitting up around here and going into this floor to the foundries. Uh, and then we've got the iron coming in underneath, splitting out around the side here, and then going up into the smelters up there. Yeah. However, we needed 720 uh, iron ore, so we had the two from over there, we had the two from up there, uh, up there uh, which gave us 480, which meant we needed another 240, so I have connected up one of the normal nodes from over here uh, and added that to this chain of rapidly spaghettifying um, conveyors. Um, so that, I think, I'm thinking that one there, that one I haven't touched yet, that is going to be the only one we're going to add to this conveyor line. And even then, it, we might not. We might add it on to whatever we're doing up that end, uh, with the iron ore, uh, that's up there. But yes, that's what I've done. So in theory, again, until we turn it on we won't know for sure, but in theory that is all 100% balanced. So that should all work absolutely perfectly, absolutely 100% efficiently. Should, should, should. Um, there is a wreck down there. I can't remember if I've actually looked at it yet or not. Um, let me put my jetpack on just in case. Uh, and we'll get the gun out just in case. I have got this one. Uh, I haven't picked up the, the stuff around it though for some reason. Let's do that. Is that everything? Yeah, probably. Right. Now. Part of me wants to go, okay, there's still iron ore to hook up. Um, we still have two... Oh, that's what I should have done. That's what I was going to do. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Hmm. I was going to connect up the uh, two impure nodes from over there, wasn't I? To add to this line, rather than the, the normal node. Yes, yes I was. And that's still a better idea than what I've got going on. Because that means we can ship that normal node across to join up with whatever's over there. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Right. Um, hmm. So really, we're going to be following this line here, aren't we?
um, because we want to go over there. Right, okay, well that's that's easy enough. It's a pain, but it's it's easy enough. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly hook this up and then we'll uh, we'll carry on. Oops, why did I switch off of zoop mode? I have disconnected the uh, the normal one from over there. I've left the miner on it, obviously, because we'll want it sooner or later, so might as well have it there. Uh, but I've disconnected it from the feed. Um, oops, hello. Uh, and I've added on this feed here. Uh, I need... What do I need for that? I think I need... Yeah. More encased industrial beams, just for that last section there. I think I need about 11 of them. Um... But we have this feed coming around from those two uh, over there. So that's given us the the uh, 720 incoming per minute that we need. Yeah. Okay. What's next then? Well, we still have iron up there that we could be connecting up together. Um, I would need to put together a whole bunch more... Um, supercomputers and uh I'm, I'm okay for turbo motors uh probably need some more of those modular frames but i think i've got some of those but definitely need more um supercomputers um there's one two three four five iron nodes up there off the top of my head i think there's five uh, but there's also a coal node as well so we could do the same and make another sort of steel smelting plant up there um or have a steel uh an iron smelting plant and ferry the coal and the iron ingots back here and put them through another foundry not sure other options uh we have um copper down there um there is copper up there a couple of nodes there's copper up there uh, and I think there's copper over there as well that's another option uh, there's all this limestone that we could actually connect up and start producing concrete we've got one connected up over there um, and by the looks of it it's at least filled one of those storage bins um, but there's another couple of limestone nodes. There's one there and one there. Um, there's another one there and there. Another one up there. Um, another one down there. Uh, and possibly that, that looks like one there as well. So there's a whole bunch of concrete that we could be producing. Um, but there's not really much need at the moment. Um, we've also got the coal up um, somewhere. Up that way, I think it is. Just in that area there, possibly. And we are probably going to want more power, but coal isn't great for power. I mean, there are, I think, three nodes up there. So if we hook all... Oh, there's also copper and iron up there as well. But focusing on the coal, if we hook them all up to Mark Three Miners... That would be quite a lot of coal coming out. We need a lot of coal burning generators and a lot of water pumps. But that could produce us a decent chunk of power. Right, I'm going to go and have a look, see what we can um, get out of there. Um, I'll put together the bits and pieces I need for a Mark III miner so we can actually. Um, have a look when we get... Oops, thank you, autosave. Um, so we can actually have a look, put, put one on one of the nodes and see how much we'll get out of it. Um, I know there's water up there as well. So... Ah, it's going to be a lot of generators, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. I'll put together the stuff I need and then I'll uh, head up there and we can have a look. Well, here we are up at the little sort of 
Lagoon Grotto thing, which is where the uh, coal is. Uh, I am on top of a miner that I've put in. Uh, there are four nodes up here. Um, we have also lots of those. Uh, obviously one right here. We've got another one there. We've got uh, another two somewhere over there. Oh, I think that's one there and one there. Let's go and have a look. Yes, there we go. Uh, and they're all normal nodes, which is useful. So, what that basically means is that they will produce 240 normally. With three slugs in, they'll produce 600. Uh, so we'll actually be able to get all of the coal that it produces out. Um, 600 coal means that we can run... I've written this down so that I, I know it. So uh, the miner produces 600 and uses 30 megawatts. Uh, an extractor, a water extractor, uh, will provide us with 120 uh, meters cubed of water per minute and uses 20 megawatts. Uh, a coal generator uses 15 coal and 45 uh, meters cubed of water per minute and produces 75 megawatts. Now, we're producing 600 coal per minute, which means that we would be able to run 40 coal generators off of one miner. Um, again, if my maths is correct, we would also need 40... Uh, water extractors, which means we'd be producing a grand total of around 2,200 megawatts off of one miner. It would also be a huge power plant, like enormous. And honestly, that's a good enough reason to do it, isn't it? Now, obviously it's going to take a buttload of resources. Um, can I fit 40 water extractors on here? Yeah, probably. Can I fit all of the pipe work? Eh, less clear. Where am I going to put it then? Um, I have 40 coal generators is going to take up a lot of room. A lot of room. Um, that sounded like someone was about to attack me, but I can't see anyone. Okay, okay, right, let's let's think about this. Um let's let's think a bit harder about this. There we go. Oops, there that's terrible. Right, okay, that, that that's good enough. That'll give us an idea. Cold generator. Let's put you in the corner and see how big you are. Okay, more than one wide and just over three tiles long. Hmm. We can do this. We can probably do this. It's going to take a lot of planning. No, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I think. Yeah, I'm going to build it above here. I reckon I can probably... I mean, we're going to multi-level it, so we can probably fit in, say, 10 coal generators per level. No, hang on. I've also got to think about the best way to split the power down. Okay, let me lay in some basic ideas. 
or a basic idea. Try out a few basic ideas, really. Um, and then I'll come back with a kind of prototype design, I think. Right then. This is what my fevered brain has come up with. Um, now, as regular viewers of this channel will know, my maths is terrible. And some of you may have already spotted the deliberate mistake I made. <clears throat> Uh, when I said that I needed 40 water extractors to power uh, all of the generators, I did not. I needed 15. So uh, I did have that in my notes. I just read the wrong bit. So, okay. This, as you can see, there are 10 um, coal generators there. Uh, that is going to be using 150 of our coal. We are getting 600 out, so I am working on the assumption that uh, I'm basically going to copy this uh, for one more floor. So we'll have another uh, 10 coal generators down this side, uh, and then another 20 on the floor above. Um, so I'll split the incoming 600 coal uh, down there, send 300 to the floor above, bring 300 up onto here, split it two ways. Uh, this is going to feed over here into this here smart splitter. Uh, we have coal going out of this um, feed and splitting over these three sets of three um, coal generators. So uh, Simple, just a splitter, split three ways into a splitter, split three ways into three coal generators. Um, and then, in here, we have an overflow set to this end one. In theory, that means that it will get 15 a minute, because that should be balanced... Um, for the rest of it, basically. Yeah, we, we've got 15 a minute left over once all of those are operating at 15 a minute. So, yeah. That's the plan. So I'm going to copy this, put in the same on that side. Uh, down below, we have... There we go. Four um, water extractors. So this is producing, what, 480 water um, per minute. Uh, and we need 450 uh, for each 10. So I'm going to need to double that up um, just to complete this floor. And then we're going to need another eight of those um, to feed the upper floor. And obviously we are going to need water pumps on there um, to transport the fluid up. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to need one. Hang on. Drop down here. There we go. Need one on here. Uh, I'm not sure how tall these sections are. Um, it does say that that is one meter, so that's four meters, but... Whoops, I completely missed there. Let me try that again. There we go. Okay, so if that's four meters, then that's going to be um, 16 meters high. So... These provide 10 meters of head lift. Yeah. So we're definitely going to need a pump on there. Uh, which means we're going to need... Let's have a look. What does the water pump Mark II do? 50 meters. Okay, so we might get away with just one Mark II pump... Uh, to get the water up onto the second level. Yeah. Okay. But I think that is going to work. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Help. There we go. Yeah, so I think that's going to work. I think that will be balanced just right. And obviously I just need to replicate this three more times. And then we need to hook up the... Um, I mean, ideally, the nearest coal, which is 
probably one of the ones over there. Um, let's have a look. I mean, it's it's yeah. There's not much in it to be honest. There's the one. There, there's another one just behind it, and then yeah. Okay, this this one might be marginally closer, but it doesn't make a lot of difference. I'm also probably going to have to deforest this entire area. Yeah, and then I'll need to set up a couple of uh, biomass burners, uh, enough to give me the power to run the miner and at least one of the water pumps, which should give me the power... Uh, give me the coal and the water needed to run. Um, what, two or three of the coal generators? And from there we can step up to, to fire up the rest of them. And then we can connect this back to, on, uh, onto the main grid. Yeah, okay, that's a plan. It's, it's a plan. Um... Let me, uh, I don't know if I've got enough of what I need to put in the rest of these coal generators. Probably not. Um, no, I can get six more with what I've got on me. So let's put those in. There we go, and we are now out of rotors. Um, but we only need... What is that now? One, two, three, seven. Okay, so we only need another three. That's fine. I will do that. Uh, and I'll, I'll get all the bits and pieces I need to lay all of this uh, infrastructure in as well. I'll lay in the water extractors. Um, and then I'll be back, I think. Okay. Here we are. We have the first floor complete. So that is going to be half of um, the output of... Uh, the miner. None of it is connected up yet. I haven't connected any of it up to power. Uh, we do have power that I've bought in from um, the other end. Uh, that is currently just going up to the miner itself. Uh, we do have a row of... Um, whoops. Let me uh, switch out to my jetpack. Because uh, I don't want to drain power from this little circuit here. Uh, I've only set this up so it'll run through and, and just make me some biomass. So I've got enough to kickstart the generators. Uh, and I presume everybody do by now. So let me go and fill these up. There we go. You can have some. And you can have some. Go on, take it. Thank you. Um, you're fine. And you're fine. Good, good, good. Right, okay. Um, and up here... We have uh, our conveyor coming in to feed our um, generators. They come down into a splitter. So, uh, half of it will be going up onto the first level, and the other half will be going up onto the second level. Um, and... I've literally just copied what we've got on the other side. So I'm really hoping that is going to work. So, first of all, let me dash up to the miner. Okay, here we are. So we will fill this with slugs and crank it up. Uh, I mean, we at the moment, obviously, we only need half of this. So we could drop it right down to, uh, where are we? Yeah, 125% rather than 250. Obviously, half. Um, but we might as well crank it all the way up. So let's connect this. There we go. So that's on our main um, circuit, which is we still have plenty of uh, juice on there. So any second now, that should start giving us some coal. There we go. Oof. There we go. And it's zooming along.
and it's going to go into all of this. As I say, I haven't connected anything here yet. So the first thing I want to connect um, is going to be... Let's have a look. Oops. That, that's water. I didn't want to be in the water. There we go. Okay, so we're going to want to connect up the... water extractors here. So... There we go. So, connect you up and you up. We won't connect everything else up yet. We will connect one of these up. Um, and we will bring that power over to there. That should be running. That should be providing 125 water. I think. 120 water. How much does that produce? 120. Now we find out if we can actually get the water up onto the first level or whether we need uh, a pump as well. It's going to fill up all of this pipe here first. So let's dash upstairs and wait to see if there's any water going to come up here. Okay, it doesn't seem to have enough pressure to get it all the way up to the first floor, so I'm going to put in a, um, a pump there, so that should hopefully move it along. Whoops. There we go. Oh, yeah, already. That is already filling up this. That's brilliant. Okay, so the water is coming in. We're getting coal being delivered. Okay, so next, I'm going to upgrade that power pole, uh, and I'm going to bring power up here. Um, I will re redo all this power at some point, I expect. I'll probably put walls in, and, and well, I will put walls in, uh, and then I'll put the um, uh, wall sockets, uh, wall outlets rather, um, and get rid of the poles. But for the moment, just so we can get things started... There we go. That is producing 75 megawatts of power. Uh, which means, in theory, this circuit is entirely self-contained um, now. This is no longer burning fuel, because it's not needed. Uh, and I assume it's the same for all of them. Yeah. Excellent. So, that's working, which means... We can start connecting up more. You and... You. Okay, that is 135 water. So, we also need to connect up this water uh, extractor. Okay, this is working. This is all working. Right. We will call it there for this episode. Let's turn the uh, the torch on. Um, yep, that all seems to be firing up. Let's have a look at our power. How are we doing here now? Yeah, plenty. Okay, brilliant. Yes, we will leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the the attempt at getting things balanced and oh good lord i completely missed what i was aiming at there uh, i hope you're enjoying the sort of the, the trying to get everything balanced and working properly before getting everything running uh, obviously i want to get all this power on the um, circuit before i connect everything up uh down in the new smelting factory and everything um so that's why i took a break from that to come and have a look at this but yeah, I, 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 I'm enjoying this bit of gameplay. I, I, I wasn't expecting to, but I am. And I hope you are as well. So, if you are, please do give us a like and a subscribe. 
Uh, please check out the other videos on my channel. Please leave us any comments down below, and thank you very much, uh, as usual, to the people who do comment regularly. Uh, lots of great ideas, suggestions, support. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate it. Uh, and please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.